That was one of the most dramatic experiences of my life. Oh my god. <laughs> so do you want me to? Want me to? Good morning guys um so I know I look like a hot mess but um last night I uh well yesterday I was with my cousin all day and she got this huge tattoo on her arm so that was really fun um and we ended up watching like the masked sinner uh the masked singer um at her house um literally in her mom's bed me and me and my cousin are two thick women okay and her mom's like tiny and all of us three women fall asleep in this bed um after watching the mass singer and i was not supposed to spend the night but i ended up spending the night and i don't know her bed is just so comfortable it was so cute though we're so cute however i woke up this morning and um my girl came and before I even get started into that, I just want to let you guys know I'm retiring unicorns because I'm tired of getting questions about whether there's like a sexual meaning behind it. So I'm no longer going to be saying hi unicorns even though you guys are all unicorns. And to be quite honest, the reason why I say unicorns is because I just feel like I'm magical and everybody's magical. But people are disgusting, so I'm retiring it. I don't want any more questions, so it's going to be hey guys from now on. Or if I feel like it, I'll call you unicorns if I feel like it. Anyway, um... Hold on. But um, I got my girl. So I decided that I'm going to try a Diva Cup. Um, can you see it? Probably not. I always have it too bright. There you go. And uh, this is something I've been wanting to do. I do these videos for my friends and family, like my close friends and family. I don't do this for people I don't really know. Um, if I do help people along the way, that's great because everybody knows that my page is all about self, you know, love, whether it's mental, physical, or spiritual. So I think that a lot of people in the last month or so, I think I've been the vagina whisperer because everybody's been calling me about vagina issues. I don't know what's been in the air, but people are like, hey girl, so this and this happened, and then I saw this after, what does that mean? And I'm like, I don't know like I guess we'll figure it out so since I am the vagina whisperer of my friend group I figure I try the menstrual cup because I feel like this is better for the environment and um, it says here that um, it says that it's economical eco-friendly and leak free way to experience a total period of comfort um, and I really really just want to take care of my girl you know what I mean our girls are sensitive I've you know, want to make sure that I'm not putting anything on my body that can affect my girl. Um, I am 27 and I have 100 years to go. So I want to make sure my girl stays healthy. Um, and if I could save money on um, menstrual things, that would be great. This cup was $40. I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get another one. Probably one for the day and one for the night. Just because I don't want to worry about cleaning it if I'm running late or anything like that. Um, but this says that it lasts for 12 hours at a time. And it's 100% medical grade silicone with no latex, dyes, rubbers, plastics, or BPA. Um, and it's reusable and the product is made in Canada. Alright. So just so you guys know, um, there's three models uh, there's model zero um, that is for people who have periods and they're 18 years and younger I almost got that one by accident because I didn't realize there were different models um, and then the model one is between 19 and 30 with a medium menstrual flow I would consider myself to have more of a medium flow because I don't need to change my stuff as often as i know other people might so they do have another model for ages 30 and over or if you have like a heavier cycle um so me personally since we're already in the nitty-gritty about my private life um my menstrual cycle usually lasts three days four days max and if it's fourth day it's probably just in the morning time and it's done um it can be it's medium heavy it's not too wild um, but I'm lucky. I'm one of those lucky souls that has like a three day period and I know when I'm going to get my period before it happens because of my attitude, um, what I'm eating a week before, like I just know, I don't even really track it. 
but I do get it around the I'm not even gonna tell you when I get it. It's too much information. I was gonna tell you what day of the month. I'm not telling you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna tell you guys uh, how I feel about it. Um, let me just, oh, I look like I was out all night. I was, but I wasn't doing nothing. I was with women the whole night. All right, I'm opening it up. I this has been out for quite some time. I just don't think that people have been brave enough to use it um, or try it. People don't like to do things that are uncomfortable. So it has a little instruction manual and it also has a bag, which is great because I was wondering that, like, how am I supposed to keep this from getting germs on it and stuff like that? So I'm going to put this here. And then this is the cup. Um, let me put this down. And I guess they want you to track how many milliliters your vagina is leaking. I don't know about that. I don't really care so much about that. Um, so this is what it looks like. I definitely got to wash it. You can see that there's some like residue inside and outside of it. And it counts. It has like the measurements of how many ounces you might have flowed that day. Don't think I care that much about that. Um, but it's good to know your body, right? All right, so this is like a 30 page manual. Oh, there's different, it's different languages. <laughs> different languages, we have nothing to worry about. Um, but it says, <clears throat> let's, let's read the instructions. It says fold the cup. How do you insert it? Actually, it says, how, what is a diva cup? We clearly know what it is. Before you use a diva cup, boil your cup for five to 10 minutes before using the diva cup. So you're supposed to boil it, so I'm gonna do that. Wash your hands thoroughly prior to insertion. How do I insert the Diva Cup? We have tested several methods and we recommend two different folds, a so U-fold, and we also recommend you fold, uh, re recommend you try both folds. So there's the U-fold and the push down fold. I think the U-fold is when you take it and you squeeze it and then you do it in the shape of a U. This is the fold I'm gonna try first. And then it's supposed to open up in your vagina. All right. So I'm gonna try that one. I, I watched a couple videos and I think that one's like the best one. Um, the push down fold is like a, I don't know, that one looks complicated. With your index finger on the top of the rim, push the rim down into the center cup base to create a, a triangle. All right. I don't think I want to do that one. Triangle. I'm clearly, I'm clearly stupid. I, I, I don't. If it's not simple, I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna skip that one. We're not doing that. All right. Inserting the diva cup while sitting on the toilet or standing. I'm gonna do the standing method. Um, your leg up on the bathtub. Gently separate your labia with your free hand. Is it labia? Labia? I think it's labia. Lord Jesus. I have a vagina. I don't know what it's even called. Holding the folded cup between your thumb, forefinger, push the very edge of the folded cup into your vagina horizontally. Breathe. You got this. You guys put other stuff in your vagina. Get over it. It says your diva cup may open. Um, it is fully inserted into your vagina. Do not worry. That's normal. Okay. Continue to gently push the cup into your vagina until the stem is even with your, va your vaginal opening. Inserting the diva cup too high may cause leaks, um, making removal difficult. So they have a picture of how it's supposed to look. I guess it's really not supposed to go in too deep. When you get the diva cup, if you ever decide to do it after this video, you'll see that it's really not supposed to go too far and you're not supposed to like really push it up. You should be able to feel the tip it looks like um, when you put it in there to be able to pull it out with no problem. Um, aim for, aim the folded diva cup toward the tailbone at the base of your spine away from the cervix. I don't know what the fuck that means, but we're gonna figure it out. Rotate the cup. I think the rotate, you rotate it to make sure that it opens up all the way. Because if it doesn't, then uh, it doesn't create a steel. So that's why it's going to tell you to rotate it a little bit while it's in there. And then 
To prevent a leak, once inserted, try sliding your finger along the outside of the vaginal wall, pressing gently on the sides of the cup. This should open the cup fully, creating a seal, um, and it will make the rotation easier. All right, it says to trim the stem. Users find that the stem is too long and it causes irritation. If the stem feels uncomfortable, remove the cup, trim the stem slightly, but no shorter than one fourth of an inch. So you can trim this little thing down here. Yep, I'm reading the instructions to you guys because I'm not about to steer you wrong. How long can I leave my Diva cup in? 12 hours, depending upon your menstrual flow. Um, you may have to empty more frequently. It is recommended that you empty and clean your cup two to three times in a 24 hour period. And then how do, you do, how do you remove it? Before removing the Diva Cup, you clean your hands. For the first time users, it needs some practice. Get comfortable, sit down on the toilet, stand with your leg on the bathtub. Pinch the base of the cup. This will break the seal. Gently move the cup side to side, pull it down. This action, um, this action will remove the cup from your vagina. All right, so... I'm just gonna go for it the cleaning and care directions are in here they have like a uh, soap for it if you want but let's be honest it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay it says stay away from home remedies don't use vinegar antibacterial soap duh you don't use antibacterial on your vagina so you wouldn't do that all right when do I replace my diva cup every year so you're spending $40 a year for your vagina. It's better than $8 a month, okay? Um, and you know what, I have a really bad habit of not having like period stuff um, on time. Like I I'm, I'm, will run out of pads and then just be like, oh, I gotta go to the store now. So this is gonna be good for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and boil this and um, I'll be back with how I feel about it after a day, okay guys? That was the most dramatic thing I think I've ever put myself through. So, um, I put it, I try to put it in. So, tip number one, I'm going to give you guys, because I, this is my first time using this. Um, practice using it before you get your period, because <laughs> it looked like a murder scene by the time I finally got it in there correctly. If I even got it in there correctly, who knows? We'll find out. I'm going to put on a pad because I, I have no confidence in how I did. So I put it in and it took like five or six tries. The U shape was not like it was opening up too early and then I couldn't finish pushing it in and I was getting aggravated. So it's funny because I had to use the other method where it was like a triangle instead. And um, I finally got it in. But the instructions say to twist it or, you know, use your finger to make sure that it's open. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't twist it. it I don't know. I think once it's suctioned, it's suctioned. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me try to spin it. So I went, <laughs> I went to get it, but I ended up pushing it in so far to where I couldn't reach it. And I almost had a mental breakdown. Like I almost had a panic attack because I was like, what the fuck? Like, how am I going to get this shit out of me? So I'm like, all right, now it's time for me to lay down on the bed because I wanted to practice standing up doing it because if I'm in public and I need to do something or if something happens, I need to be able to take care of it in public. <laughs> so <laughs> I lay down and I still can't reach it. So I'm like, damn, I'm going to have to go to the hospital and get them to take it out. Like that was my first thought. I'm like, either that or my friend Axel, my best friend, I love you to death. You were going to have to come here and all because you're the only person that I would trust to put your hand in my vagina to get this thing out <laughs> and he's a man I don't know how he would have handled it but he was just gonna have to do it for me or I was gonna have to go to the doctor so I have all these thoughts in my mind about how I'm gonna get this thing out of me so then I'm like let me stand up and push this thing out like a baby like let me see if that works so I start pushing <laughs> And it starts to crown like a baby. I can feel it. And I'm like, okay. All right, I can actually get it out. So I get the whole thing out. And immediately I can see that there was stuff in the cup. So I must have did something right because I'd already caught some. 
It looked like a murder scene. Please practice before you get your period. Don't wait until you get it to practice because you're freaking out. Like, I, I literally was freaking out. I finally got it out. And, um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to give up though. So I was like, you know what? We're going to put it in again. We're going to, you know, try to get it in there. So I put it back in and like I said before, I, I try to twist it and it doesn't really let me do that. Like I, it's too slick and it, it just, I couldn't do it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to assume that since it's not twisting easily, I probably should have got the 18 and younger one. Cause honestly, when I go to the gyno, they always say like, all right, they always say, okay, we're going to put two fingers in and they're like, oops, never mind." So, um... Maybe I should have got the smaller one <laughs> because I can't do like it's stuck in there. Like I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. So, um, yeah, I'm going to see if there's any leakage. Um, the good news is, is I can feel the end when I push like so I'm not nervous that it's going to fall out or anything. But to be honest, I, I have no faith that I put it in. Like, I, I feel like, uh, I don't think I did it right. I don't, I don't think that it popped out. I don't think that there's gonna, I think there's gonna be leakage because I, I can't, I can't twist it. I can't do anything that the instructions told me to do. So I'll be back to you guys with how my life ends here. <laughs> so on Sunday, I posted on Instagram that I was gonna be doing a review on the Diva Cup because I got my girl. And now that it's Tuesday, and yes, God has blessed me with a three-day cycle, um, two and a half day, what can I say? Um, I'm going to go into it. I mean, I know that I, my first impression is a lot different from my second impression. It's, it's, it's been a journey. <laughs> so um, now that I've used it for my full period, I will never use anything else. I'm absolutely in love with the menstrual cup um, mine in particular is the diva cup and it comes with a little baggie so you can see um i the beginning was rough um the beginning was re really really rough putting it in was rough taking it out was rough and i i ended up just doing research just to see if I can make it easier than my first day because my first day was really, really hard because I wasn't sure. You're not sure when you're first putting it in and you don't want to, you know, make a mess pulling it out. So you don't know what to do exactly. But if there's one thing that we need to change, we need to show women how to use these first and then use pads and tampons as an alternative instead because this has been the most convenient thing I've ever used. I had no leakage. I had, I only had to change it, I had my period for three days, I only had to change it like six or seven times because you, it lasts for 12 hours. So it was like, why would I go the other way? This is $40, I don't have to worry about getting another one, there's ones that are cheaper than this, but I, I don't know, it was so comfortable, sometimes I kind of forgot that it was there. Um, but one piece of advice that I would like to give to you guys is that do not freak out out just chill out just just if you freak out when you're trying to put the cup in you're tightening up you're like oh no i can't i don't know what i'm doing and then when you try to take it out it's even worse so i would suggest like if it's your first time to go in the shower put it in while you're in the shower take it out while you're in the shower because you're warm and you're relaxed but the moment you freak out you're never getting that thing out of you you're never gonna get it out so um Another tip that I want to give to you if you decide to go the Diva Cup route is don't push it too far up your vagina. It is not supposed to go past your cervix. Like tampons go in there, right? Um, mine was not sticking out the whole time, but it was to the point where I could easily feel it if I needed to. It wasn't far up there. It shouldn't be pushed all the way up. So don't push it too far up. That's not what it's supposed to do. I loved it like I'm super excited that I got out my comfort zone to try it putting it in is still kind of difficult but it's way easier once you get the hang of it and I'm really super 
excited to share that because people are afraid. Um, another good thing that I like about it is that, uh, you know, there's girls that have sensitive girls. And with this, it's keeping, you know, all that moisture instead of having chemicals with tampons put in your body, it's keeping everything in that cup and it's a medical grade cup. I never felt more fresh in my life. Girl, move on, grow up, get yourself a cup. Bye guys. <laughs>